Good morning. The weather outside is frightful, <laughs> but in here it's so delightful. <laughs> I sing that song for you. My father used to remind me, she can't carry a tune in a bucket. <laughs> so I'm going to spare you all that. Uh, I'm, I'm Marilyn, and on the YouTube, it has Marilyn's cooking ministry, if you want to cook recipe. This is what it's telling me. I carry cookies with me everywhere I go. Uh, and uh, I've been taking them to some exciting places. And uh, I had a young lady at, on the bus last night when we came in. And I gave her a cookie. The bus driver said, there's no food on this bus. <laughs> no. I said, hey, if you don't tell the bus driver, I'll give you this cookie. <laughs> I gave her the cookie and I told her about where she could find it on YouTube. And you know what? She got on her telephone and left it. And there I was. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
nine years later, mm -hmm. 1989, I would be here with my husband and my nine and a half month old daughter giving my testimony. <laughs> That's why. Yes. My daughter took her first steps on the front lawn there, mm -hmm. and now she's running around in college. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the next time I came, I was pregnant with my son in 1990, and now he's in college. But what I want to say to you is that I have a testimony, and I'll only be brief because you all have to talk. But when I say we worship a God of miracles, I am living proof of that. Mm -hmm. When I left the Watchtower in 1988, my husband had read Ray Fran's book in 1984, and he stopped going to the meetings right away because he had doubts about many issues, particularly the blood transfusion issue because he's a respiratory therapist and he saw inconsistencies. I went to the Kingdom Hall for four years without him because I didn't know what else to do. And then a friend of mine showed me a little ad in the Penny Saver magazine that uh, Bill and Dawn Knox had posted. They used to come here to this and the ad said, former and questioning Jehovah's Witnesses, support group, confidentiality respected. And my coworker gave that to me. She said, I don't want to offend you, Michelle, but when we started working together, you were so zealous for your beliefs, and now I see you going through some questions, and I want to share this article with you. It took me three months to get the courage to call the phone number. And we talked to Bill and um, Dawn. And then we went to a support group in Boca Raton, Florida, because I had been living in Boca Raton. And there I met Marilyn, and I met many other people who had left the Watchtower, and I started to learn, and I started to read. And in 1988, I was driving in my car, and I found Christian radio that a friend of mine told me about. And I prayed a prayer, and I asked Jehovah God's permission to talk to his son Jesus, because we were taught to not pray to Jesus, and I thought, well, if Norma Sanchez could do this, and she was at Bethel translating the Spanish version of the Watchtower's Bible, I could do that. So I did. And shortly after that, God started people bringing people into my life through the support group. And I became a born-again Christian in 1988. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fast forward real quick and just touch on a couple of years and dates of God's miracles in my life. Three years ago, in 2006, my husband was diagnosed with fourth stage B cell lymphoma. Mm -hmm. And things did not look good. Where he worked, they said, get your papers in order. Backtracking to 2005, I had fallen into a clinical depression, and I was 20 pounds lighter than you see me. Mm -hmm. Taking all kinds of medications for anti-anxiety, I couldn't sleep. I had suicidal ideation at that time. Mm -hmm. Then in 2006, my husband got the cancer. Hurricane Wilma came, took our roof away, about $50,000 worth of damage to the house. The pastor of my church says to me, Michelle, I think this year the devil's attacking you. <laughs> but I had people praying for me and my husband all over the country that knew our situation. And today, my husband's in full remission. I'm about 20 pounds heavier, and life is good. So when I say we worship a God of miracles, I'm a living testimony. Amen. We worship a God of miracles. Amen.